All right, so I'm going to go to James 119. I'm going to read James 119 live here on camera. Um, and then we can talk about it just briefly. So if you want, you can flip straight to James 119 with me, which is all the way back in the end of all. It's almost to the end. There it is. So at the end, you have the book of Revelation, you have the book of 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, 1st and 2nd Peter, and then you have the book of James. So it's about the 6th book to the end. All right. So it's actually right over here. Let me slide the Bible just slightly. It's actually right here. So I'm going to zoom in. All right. Let's try this again. James 1.19 says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so prevalent, and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. And then the next section says, Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. And anyone who listens to the word, but does not do what it says, is like someone who looks at, themsel looks at their face in the mirror, and after looking at, themselves, at himself, goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But whoever looks intently into the perfect law, that gives freedom and continues in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it. They will be blessed in what they do. Those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves, and their religion is worthless. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. There is a lot of importance in that entire section that I just read. But today the focus is going to be James 1.19 Through, I'll do James 119 through 21 as the importance of today's video. So I'm sitting here today on this good old faithful Friday, a day to be thankful, a day to read the word, a day to fix a smoothie, a day to be cooled down by all this tremendous heat throughout the last few months by a light trickle of rain outside. A day to reflect, a day to just have inner peace, not just inner peace up here, but also down in your heart. But also a day to, to talk about what God means. So again, James 1.19 says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. I have had challenging and, you know, many, many challenges come over my life. Somehow, over everything that I have dealt with, and I can only speak about what I have dealt with because it's the, it's the challenges that I personally have went through. God has given me um, a gift to be slow to anger, to respond differently than a lot of people would respond. And most people in this world today jump straight to responding ASAP instead of waiting and seeing what the future may hold. 
because the only thing that most anger brings is broken relationships and fragile, um, decaying feelings. And, and the way I have been taught through, my, through some of the mentors of my life and also through the scriptures is to be slow to speak. Somebody may be so hostile towards you, they may be questioning the management, they may be questioning you as an individual, they may be questioning you know, different circumstances, your family or whatever. Just be slow to answer. Slow to speak, but when you do speak, speak with honor, speak with respect, don't be hateful, don't be boastful, don't... The gifts of the Holy Spirit are gifted to us to help us, to guide us, to direct us through different and all situations in life. And anger is not necessarily a bad thing, but it can become a bad thing due to different elements. And be slow to it. Today at work, one of my colleagues was talking disgraceful towards about the manager, and I told him, let's be respectful, let's be honorable towards whatever the manager said. And he took offense to that and was quick to anger. And he asked me if we have a problem. No. We do not have an issue. We do not have a problem. Um, but he continued. And, and his, his anger was rising to the occasion for, I, for reasons I don't understand. Because I was slow to anger. Slow to respond. I stood there and then slowly I spoke to him because he was being very loud and I said you either walk away or I'm going to and um, he walked away at first I started walking away but the whole thing is controlling your tongue controlling your emotions and not you know overextending your welcome and becoming slow to the anger um, I am thankful for God teaching me that and giving me that gift of the Holy Spirit. I'm glad that God gave me the gift of being gentle. I'm glad that God gave me the gift of being kind. I'm glad that God gave me the gift, you know, to be, to have self-control, even though I lack that sometimes, you know, with many different elements. But God has taught me how to control my tongue. And it says in Scripture that the tongue is the most difficult thing to control. It's, it's, it's more wild than any beast. And, um, you know, we, we got to put our faith, full faith in Christ. And, um, yeah. So, hope this, guys, I hope this helped you. Um, this helped me very very much so to um, just open up and try something new with my YouTube channel try something new try something fresh so I'll have more videos like this coming soon I will be reading scriptures I will be showing you beautiful raindrops trickling from heaven it's so peaceful, alright? I know there's something special about waves crashing at the shore of a beach that I go to. If it's the Indian Beach, or if it's Topsail Beach, or if it's the Atlantic Beach, or even a beach I haven't been to yet, you know? There's many of those. But, um, um, different things in life can be peaceful, and they can calm us. Not just calm our mind, not just calm our heart. 
take our worries and throw them away kind of thing, but they can just, just relax our muscles, you know? They can just relax our feet. We can just sit there for hours just being th so thankful and, yeah, at peace. Um, but also, I'm going to be watching some old movies, all right? from yesteryear and introducing you to see some of my cinematic heroes like Groucho Marx and such and um, watching some of his movies and some other movies that I really enjoy and um, not showing the whole clip or anything but uh, showing a little bit of it to give you a little of a sneak peek of the movie and having a little bit of fun with that and um, also some songs that are very encouraging to me that have inspired me lately and have motivated me um, to continue doing what I do. All right. So, anyways, I hope you guys have a tremendous weekend. Uh, it's supposed to rain here in North Carolina or this part of North Carolina. Um, that's good. We need the rain. All right. We need the rain. Um, anyways, until next time, be hopeful, be faithful, and I'll talk to you guys soon. All right. Um, 